miracles. You need to be able to show that miracles prove the existence of God. That's basically all the exam board want to know. Miracles break the laws of nature and because they are normally good things, they are uh, good things, that's why we call them uh, miracles, we assume that they're from God because the laws of nature have been broken and they are something good. So it could be, for example, a healing of some sort or it could be a disaster has been averted and it's a miracle, people say it's a miracle. Two types of miracle, one is healing, so for example someone getting better and the other one is a nature miracle, for example controlling the weather, could be one. And there are miracles that take place in the Bible, we hear about them in the Bible and they're known as biblical miracles and non-biblical miracles obviously don't feature in the Bible. Um, they would be, they would have happened after the writing of the Bible. It tells us that God loves us, he cares for us, that is why he's involved in the world. He's active in the world, uh, helping us out. It shows us that if God didn't really love us or care for us, he wouldn't be active in the world in terms of working miracles uh, for us. You remember that Jesus worked miracles in the Bible. What does it tell us then about Jesus? It tells us that he's the son of God. Why? Because he has power to work miracles. Nothing is impossible for him. And you notice that he asks some people to demonstrate their faith, to show some kind of faith in him before he works a miracle. He's kind of getting them involved. So it's a little bit interactive in terms of him working miracles. Well, one, if the laws of nature are broken, only God can break those laws of nature, so it proves, a miracle proves that God exists. Secondly, if there's no other natural explanation for them, many people will conclude and say, therefore, God is the only explanation for those miracles. Now, of course, atheists and humanists, and in your exam paper, when they say non-religious, they mean atheists and humanists, they will say, look, miracles, they just don't cut it because effectively there is no God and if there's no God then there are no miracles and if someone is claiming to have a miracle either they're mistaken, they're lying or they're looking for attention and they will say if that is not the case then clearly there must be some natural explanation for why this miracle took place. They would also argue quite convincingly they'd say look if God really existed then anyone in trouble would experience a miracle. Why is it that only some people experience miracles and not others? Therefore, God doesn't exist because those aren't really miracles, they're just coincidences that we think are miracles. How do Catholics respond to atheists and humanists? They'll say, look, miracles do happen because when someone claims a miracle, we'll get scientists, we'll get doctors, we'll get other professionals in to come in and have a look is there another explanation for those miracles? And if there isn't, then the only explanation is God. They would say also, perhaps God only intervenes now and again with a miracle to make us sit up and bolster our faith. Because if he was working miracles all the time for people, we'd become lazy. We'd say, oh, it doesn't matter. God will just um, work a miracle. But the fact that he doesn't means that we've got to get off our backsides and we've got to sort out problems and we've got to try and make people better like doctors and nurses and work on technology to make the world a better place rather than leaving everything to God. GCSE questions, what could you be asked? It could say, identify three qualities that the miracles of Jesus show about him. One, it shows he's powerful. Two, it shows that he's caring. Three, that uh, nothing is impossible for him. Four, you could say it shows divinity. Jesus is God. Another three marker could be identify three qualities that miracles reveal about God. One, that he cares about us. Two, that he's loving. Three, that he's all powerful. Five mark question, explain two reasons why Catholics believe miracles prove that God exists. In your answer, you must refer to source of wisdom and authority. Well, you could say miracles prove that God exists because 
they break the laws of nature. Only God can break the laws of nature. Secondly, there's no other explanation for them and they are good things. They are good things that happen to us often in response to a prayer and therefore it must be God responding to our prayer. Source of wisdom and authority, you can say, look, the power of God in creation in my favorite book, Genesis. Then explain two ways for marks, okay? Catholics respond to non-religious arguments about miracles. So you say non-religious argument is that maybe the person is lying, therefore there's no miracle. Catholics would say, well, we get doctors and we get psychiatrists in to check the character of the person to make sure they are telling the truth and only then do we accept a miracle. And secondly, atheists would say, well, look, there aren't any miracles because if they really were miracles, God would be working miracles for everyone who's in a fix. But that doesn't happen. It's only for some people. Catholics would respond and say, maybe God is only working miracles for some people to bolster our faith and encourage us to help other people who are in trouble. So we don't leave everything in God's lap. Then at 12 marker, miracles are proof of God's existence. Yes, because they break the laws of nature. Yes, there's no other explanation. Yes, because they are good. God is responding to our prayers to do something good for us. On the other hand, uh, maybe not. Maybe the person is lying. Maybe um, there's a natural explanation for it. Maybe it is just a coincidence. Now make sure that your wonderful mark um, on whenever you do your exam is no coincidence. You've revised for it, it's not a miracle, it's all down to you.